All right, we're looking at doing a furnace only replacement here. Um, gas lines, we're gonna have to put a new shutoff valve in here. Um, the shutoff valve is broken, so we'll put a new shutoff valve in for them. Electrical looks okay. They already got a heat shield for the flue. Um, so we'll just tie on to the existing flue here. We'll probably have to rebuild it um, from this point right there, back down the unit. Um, possibly going to be changing out the coil too. I can't really get back to it. Um, I do have model and serial number and I took a picture of the data plate. Um, I took a couple measurements for it as well. There's already a safety pan here, but there's no safety switch, a wet switch. So we'll have to put a new wet switch in for them. Uh, condensate drain line looks like it runs out of the uh, the coil and then down this way and over somewhere to the other side of the house. Um, here's your model and serial number for the existing furnace. Uh, there's just one return, big return grill right here. Um, it's an E-wall style um, attic space. Um, really kind of tight, not a whole lot of room in here, so I got dimensions for everything. We'll uh, hope that we can get a new furnace to fit in here. Um, that should really be it. Um, you'll probably want to bring a couple tarps because we are in um, a finished, finished like bedroom area um, at the top of the stairs. So bring some tarps and runners, um, and that that should be it. All right, here's the outdoor condenser. Um, for this, we're going to have to put a new pad underneath it to get it leveled out. Um, probably have to bring a couple bags of dirt and some rock. Um, we're going to have to replace the refrigerant lines. They run from the back of the unit here and up the wall. They are undersized, so we'll have to put new refrigerant lines in if we put a new unit in. Um, the refrigerant lines run through that knee wall in the attic and then across the back of the house over here to this side. So um, we're probably going to have to reroute them um, or move the unit um, over to the other side of the house over here so we can punch through the room that we were in was up here uh, back on the other side of this other window um, so yeah we were gonna we're gonna have to reroute the refrigerant lines we'll have to punch out of the wall right here above this window so we'll punch out of the wall there and then we'll have to run them across the roof line and down on the other side um, without ripping out drywall. There's not really another way we can get refrigerant lines over to that side of the house. That should be it.